Kia ora, kōtia ho, haramai, welcome to today's 5 Minute Mind Space. We are making an abacus today, which is an old fashioned counting machine. So let's have a look at what you're going to need. You're going to need a couple of squares of cardboard, a couple of strips extra, we need 10 skewers, we need some glue, it can be PVA but I'm using hot glue today. We need something to cut with, a ruler, which is going to be really important. We need some beads and we need some tape as well. And the last thing we're actually going to need is some paint. So this activity is going to take longer than the five minutes, so our video today will only be that long and we'll pause when we need to. So let's take a closer look. So we have two sheets of cardboard here. I have cut these to 22.5 by 22.5 centimetres square. We're now going to cut two squares out of these to produce a frame. So on each of your pieces of card, measure three centimetres in from each side. You want these to be nice and exact. When you've traced both squares on your cardboard, ask an adult to help you cut them out. Make sure you've got a cutting mat underneath. Now when you've got your two frames ready, it's time to give them a paint, just on the outside. And then allow them to dry. Two things that you can do while you're waiting for your frames to dry is to cut your skewers to a 20 centimetre length. So that's just trimming off the pointy end there. And then also cut two more strips of cardboard from the cardboard that you had before. Or if you were using thin cardboard, just use something a little thicker like this corrugated card. And this measures two centimetres by 20 centimetres. You'll need two of those. The other thing you can do at this time is organise your beads. You need 100 beads in total. It doesn't matter if you have all the same coloured beads, or as I do, I have different coloured beads, but not enough for 10 different colours. So I've got about seven colours that are different, and I've reused three colours for my beads. I've set them aside in these pottles to make it easier for me to thread onto the skewers when the time comes. When your frames are ready, it's time to take a ruler and a pencil. Flip the frame over. It doesn't matter if there's any writing on the other side. Measure down every one and a half centimetres from the frame. Do this on both sides. Now, use your ruler, join up the markings on each side and make a line. Do this for each of the marks. This will be how you'll place your skewers. 
and if you wish to, you can line them up now to make sure that you're happy. When you're pleased with the result, set the frame aside. It's now time to thread the beads onto your skewers. Do this for each of the colours that you have. And then set them aside. When all your beads are on your skewers, it's time to attach them to the frame that you've marked up. Don't worry if the beads move around at this point in time. And it won't matter that the pieces of tape are overlapping either. Now take the two pieces of cardboard that you cut up before. Using hot glue or some PVA, attach that to either end of the frame. Make sure if it is too wide that you trim it down. Place your hot glue around all the outside of the frame and attach the other piece to the top. Decide which side is your best side and there you'll have your abacus. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's activity making an abacus. For instructions on how to use it, just have a search online. Thanks for joining us. Kaki